click the subscribe button, hit the bell icon to never miss another update. Summary of the 10th part of the Holy Quran This part covers the remaining part of Surah Anfal and the initial part of Surah Tauba. There are six key topics discussed by Allah Almighty as follows. Ruling on Qums, like Zakat, Qums is also defined as a financial obligation. The Qums should be spent on profit and his family, the orphans, the poor, the travelers and the Mujahideen. Conditions of the Battle of Badr The disbelievers consider the Muslims and the Muslim considered them in small numbers and this happened because Allah has decided in this way. The devil kept embellishing the deeds of disbelievers in front of them. On the other hand, angels came down from heaven to help the Muslims. The disbelievers were humiliated in the battle of Badr. Four reasons for God's help. In these verses it is mentioned that there were four reasons that Allah helped the Muslims. Showing resilience on the battlefield. Frequent remembrance of Allah. Avoiding fighting and differences among themselves. Patience in matters unfavorable to compete. Instructions for dealing with the enemy during war. Seven instructions are given in verse 45 to 47 on how to deal with the enemy during war. The virtues of migration and support. Allah praised those who migrated and those who supported the Holy Prophet in these verses. It was mentioned that Mahajirin and Ansar are true believers, forgiveness of their sins and the promise of generous livelihood was made. In addition to this, in verse 62, the source of support and help of the Prophet and in verse 64 the subject of the Prophet's obedience is mentioned, which is described by the Hadiths as the personality of Imam Ali as he helped and obeyed the Prophet like no one else. In verse 75, mentioning the superiority of some relatives, this command was revealed on the occasion of the Mahajirin and Ansar becoming brothers to each other. During this ceremony of brotherhood Prophet made Imam Ali his brother. It was mentioned in verse 53 that this world is not running on a system of complete oppression, but a man loses the blessings of Allah by his own deeds and wrongdoings. The initial part of Surah Tauba in this part covers two key topics. First one is war with the polytheists and the people of the book. In these verses Allah has mentioned his displeasure to the disbelievers which the, the Holy Prophet made through Imam Ali instead of his messenger. The agreements were ended with the polytheists. The polytheists were forbidden from performing Hajj. Fighting with the people of the book is allowed except for the sacred months which are Rajab, Zikad, Zilhijjah and Muharram. Distinguishing between the Muslims and hypocrites. The main distinguishing point between the hypocrites and the Muslims was the Battle of Tabuk, the rivalry with the Romans, the superpowers of the time. The fruits were ripe at the time of scorching heat and drought, so many Muslims left the battlefield. The hypocrites are condemned till the end of these verses. Allah said, O Prophet, even if you ask forgiveness for them seventy times, Allah will not forgive them and if one of them dies then you will not offer the funeral prayer for him. Then those Muslims are also mentioned who could not go to this battle for certain reasons. In addition, some important topics are mentioned in this part including the virtues of al al -Bait. Just as there are Imams who call to the right guidance, there are Imams of disbelievers. Also a group of Muslims who fought against Imam Ali during the Caliphate is mentioned in these verses. The polytheists have no right to build a mosque as mentioned in these verses as well as the importance of building a mosque. Revelation of the verse of Sakina for the believers. As per hadiths these verses were in favor of Imam Ali and Hazrat Abbas. To fight for the sake of Allah is more virtuous than servicing pilgrims and building a mosque. The revelation of this verse is also a statement of this virtue of Imam Ali. The promise of complete dominance of Islam on the whole world, which will be achieved by the appearance of Imam Mahdi.